Hello there and welcome to Complete Games. I'm James and this is the story of the Complete Crew. The tribe has manifested a roster of different creatures it will attempt to use to defeat the guardians of the island map. Rexes, Megatheriums, Thenos and Utes are all being selectively bred to become powerful enough to take into battle. And work is well on the way to gather all the resources needed to craft both the guns and saddles for the final fight. While I'm hatching my Uteranus egg, tribe mate Romeo proudly shows me his new favourite creature he affectionately calls Glob. He plans to sneak about the base scaring other tribe members and shooting the white sticky substance that the creature secretes all over unsuspecting players and hiding in dark corners. I agree that various members of the tribe will enjoy being globbed on by his new spider and that he should also carry on boosting the morale of the tribe with Glob while I continue to imprint my new Uteranus. Oh dear. <laughs> well there goes Glob. Today we will see a significant portion of the tribe tackle both the snow caves. It's important that each member of the crew gathers at least one artifact to get the achievement personally retrieved all artifacts. The tribe will do multiple boss runs and we will need them. To truly complete Ark, each cave must be attempted. The first cave we attempt holds the artifact of the Skylord. Several members make short work of the bats and spiders here and the tribe is rewarded with a few more artifacts. The Skylord cave is relatively easy and being that it's one of the cave artifacts needed to fight the dragon, it's unnecessary to gather more than we need. Again, it's an opportunity for members that haven't personally retrieved the artifact to do so, as no member of this group can join the top 5% of art players and complete the game without personally retrieving all of the artifacts. Our adventure is fruitful and the tribe heads back to the base to collect our new UTs, that we all leveled and allowed to heal in the meantime. On the way back, the tribe gathers more metal from the mining site that's been set up at the Blue Obelisk. With a very rich resource of metal nodes surrounding the Blue Obelisk, a leveled Anki and 30 minutes of gathering amounts to a bountiful haul. Each metal ingot will be used in our efforts to chip away at the daunting task of resources to craft all of the saddles. With the tribe carrying as much metal back to base and collecting the Uteranuses, they head on out towards the artifact of the Strong Cave. The tribe gathers in the entrance to the Strong Cave and they've chosen Uteranuses as the cave dinosaur used to tackle what some consider the hardest cave on the island map. Their ability to fear roar all the Parlovia out of the ground makes this a very strong cave dino and even though several members do make short work of a cave, this is a great option to solo the cave with and in combination with a UT and a couple of aloes would make solo in the cave a lot easier. There is always many ways to skin a cat in Ark Survival Evolved but it would seem that the Uteranus definitely trumps this cave. While in the cave it makes sense to grab as many artifacts as possible and as much loot as some of the better loot can also spawn in this cave. An otter and some good fur gear is recommended to tackle this cave with. It is said that there is no bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. So all who enter the cave of the strong should equip fur clothing and an otter and pump at least 20 points of fortitude. I even noticed my fellow tribe mates farting snowflakes if that's not an indication as to how cold this cave can be. While in the cave it makes sense to grab as many artifacts as possible and as much loot as some of the better loot can also spawn in this cave. With a new day comes new chance and opportunity. Whilst out on my rounds to spot any dino we haven't already tamed that could prove useful, I spy a Giga. They say that success is not only in the hand, it's in the heart. And the heart of the Giga is another piece of the key that we need to open the tech cave and ascend from the island. Vexing Cat volunteers to go Giga fishing, and largely unprepared we attempt to bring the Giga down to the ocean. For why fight something that strong when it can drown just like anything else that walks the land? Our attempts to lead the beast to the ocean are unsuccessful, but it gets cornered in a ravine and we throw all the bullets we have at it. And the Giga is about to succumb to its wounds when it eats a stego and regains full health. We fail to kill the Beast King and lose this battle. But defeat can only come to those who can admit it, and tribe mate Vexing Cat vows to pull the creature's heart out with her own hands. A resupply and this time I construct a trap that's supposed to snare the Giga easily. I place a trap but I fail to snare the beast and in our attempts to lure it into the trap the King of Beasts gets stuck behind a rock. 
The Giga attempts to fly away from its position, but we strike the creature with all the power we have. Endless shotgun blasts of the creature's head prove fatal, and tribe mate Vex claims her heart. We make a cut on a high note and the complete crew are close to fighting the guardians of the island map. As always, a huge thank you to those of you who are still here. Feel free to leave words of encouragement for the complete crew down below. To all those names that are scrolling up the screen right now, I'm forever grateful you're there for me. You are the milk in my coffee and the butter on my toast. I thank you. So will the complete crew be successful in their mission to complete the island map? And will we do another episode? Well, yeah, more than likely at this point, because it seems like you guys have been enjoying this one. So I thank you all for the support. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.